starring amongst others Jake Where did you come from? Why are you saying happy birthday? It's not my birthday. Pennywise. I'll be damned if I'm going to be taken alive by a clown. You hear me, Pennywise? It's never going to happen. Where were we? <laughs> Starring amongst others, Jaden Libra, Bill Skarsgård, Jeremy Ray Taylor and Sophia Lillis. Directed by Andy Muschietti. Hopefully I've said that right. Off of a screenplay by three people. Chase Palmer, Kerry Fukunaga, again. May well have got that wrong. And Gary Dorberman. This is my review for It. It is, of course, based on the Stephen King best-selling book of the same name and focuses on the town of Derry in Maine. Um, in this town, children are going missing and it's all because of a creature that appears as a clown and can also manifest itself as very different things depending on what people's fears are. The clown's called Pennywise and he is fucking terrifying. I hate clowns. I don't like clowns at all. Never have done. Like, I can deal with some, like the Joker, I don't see as a clown anymore, because I've been so familiar with that character over time that he's lost the fear with me so much, I'm not scared of him. Um, Pennywise? Man, he's a dick. Um, I haven't read uh, the Stephen King book, I haven't seen the original TV movie, I just bought it, actually, because Mel said that she likes it. Uh, she actually said she preferred it to this one, so um, I'm going to give that one a try as well. But my first impressions of it are this movie, and man, it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. It made me uncomfortable. It made me very uncomfortable. I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit, there were many times where I had my jacket and just went like this, and just kind of hid the screen from my eyes, like a tiny little girl. I did that. And I was on my own in there as well. Yeah, because I'm normally fine with horrors, but it's the clown aspect. And it isn't an overly jumpy movie. Like, it's not full of jump scares. I mean, there are some, and they work. Like, when they pull off an effective jump scare, it's truly effective. But a lot more of this is about the characters and about the fear growing. So it allows time to breathe. It allows situations to become scary naturally without having to rely on something jumping out of the shadows. Bill Skarsgård is perfect as Pennywise. And as I keep saying, I hate clowns, I'm scared of clowns, they freak me out. But as much as I wanted to turn away from Pennywise, at the same time I was drawn to watch every single thing that he does. And that's because of Skarsgård's performance, which is impeccable here. Every single thing he says, every look, every gesture, every move, every silly little dance thing he does just to be creepy just works. I never thought I'd be at the stage where I couldn't take my eyes off of a clown. Um, yeah, I was here. If this were just a generic horror slasher movie with a clown as the murderer, you wouldn't have caught me going anywhere near it. The thing that drew me in was the trailers and the fact that it seemed like a very personal character story for these group of children that were challenging Pennywise. And thankfully, that's what this was. These kids are awesome in this movie, and a friend of mine, Jack, said that he thinks in years to come this could be something that people look back on in the same way that we do now with films such as Stand By Me or The Goonies. And I think he's absolutely right. The kids in this film are brilliant, all of them. Like, every single one of them gives great performances. The only character in this out of the children that I didn't particularly like that much was Finn Wolfhard's Richie. And that's not the fault of Wolfhard. Like, he's proven he's a great little actor. He's fantastic in Stranger Things, which, by the way, this very much gives a Stranger Things vibe in the best possible way. But just the way he's written was a bit over the top. He was always coming out with wisecracks and quips when it didn't feel like there needed to be any, and it certainly didn't feel like it was appropriate at quite a few times. I do think a character like that is needed, and they can be useful for sort of breaking the tension a little bit with a bit of a laugh, but he just went over the top with it. But as I say, it's not his fault. It's entirely down to the script and the fact that they just kept giving him too many one-liners. 
Another character I wasn't overly fond of isn't part of the Losers Club, um, which is the, the club that all these all these kids call themselves. Um, but it was Nathan Hamilton's performance as Henry Bowers. He was the the bully of this, so he terrorises all the kids and just acts horribly throughout the entire movie. And while, yes, we do get an explanation as to why he behaves that way, there was no depth to the character that I could see. He was very one-note. And this may be something that was just taken straight from the source material and put onto the screen, but in the movie it didn't really work for me. I wanted to know a little bit more about this guy. I wanted to see him not necessarily soften, but just kind of see another layer to him. And other than one scene, I didn't really get that. So his character fell flat. Sophia Lillis as Bev is brilliant like she's a great actress and she she plays this in a very nuanced way like she's not over the top with anything she's just a believable young girl and i do like that they had a line in the movie that referenced how she looks like molly ringwald who obviously a very big name at that time um, which is exactly what i thought when i first saw it i'm glad it was brought up jason libra's bill is also fantastic in this one and um, the character's very nervous has a stutter um, doesn't seem to know how to act around people other than his close group of friends and um, we see him over the course of the film become more and more outspoken and he's able to stand his ground a little bit and, and be brave and it's his character that's the crux of all this it's his little brother who's lost in the opening moments of the film to Pennywise so he really is our driving force and it was important to have a young actor that could help us go along this journey with him and make it believable and he absolutely does Back to, to it for a moment, um, to the creature, there's there's a couple of effects that for me didn't quite work. There was one that was a zombified um, corpse looking thing um, that looked a little bit more awkward than it did scary and the same too with um, what looked like it was a version of the woman from the screen painting. Um, that didn't really work for me either but then it'll flip back to Pennywise in his clown form again and I'll just be hiding under things trying not to look at the screen so yeah. While certain things don't work quite as well, this film is incredibly atmospheric and incredibly scary when it wants to be. And it gets under your skin. It really does, not just through it, not just through Pennywise, but through some of the actions of the human characters in here. There's a couple of guys, not just the bully, but there's a couple of characters who are just horrible, horrible people and who treat people absolutely terribly in the process. One of them, and without giving anything away, is one of the characters' fathers. Two of the characters' fathers, in fact. Um, and yeah, it just has a way of just getting to you and combining that kind of more personal torment with the the outright horrible torment that Pennywise is causing. Just, as I say, it makes me feel uneasy in the best possible way. I also thought this film looked great, and not just its use of settings, and it's filmed in some really lovely looking places, but just that even the use of shadows are just done brilliantly well here. It just makes it that much more creepy by just having a light flickering in the corner and a little bit of darkness maybe that you just can't quite make out what's there. And it does this a few times. And each time it does, yeah, it works. Overall though, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was a great film. It was a lot better than I was expecting. I was able to handle it a lot better than I was expecting as well. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, apologies that this review was a little bit late, um, as well as a couple of other reviews as well that will be coming um, either today or tomorrow, um, but we'll have more coming over the next few days at least. Um, I've been away, I've got engaged, which is exciting, I've been hearing about weddings for the last week. She's planned everything already, I don't know how she's been able to do this quite so quickly. We got engaged like five days ago, we've already got a venue and a date. Um, but yeah, we were away, so it kind of delayed me being able to see the film, so I only got to see it yesterday, along with Wind River, which there'll also be a review of coming very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this review. As I say, look out for other reviews coming in the next few days. Uh, Phil and I will have our second uh, Noteworthy Power Ranger entry coming up uh, next week as well, so plenty coming on the channel. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at Joe P. Julians, follow NAC on Twitter, uh, at NAC underscore channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.